Okay, so to composite this stream, I've already done a render, so I'm just gonna load it up here. There it is. That's using default settings of the stream. So what you could do, uh, you could just put an S glow on there like most people probably would. And then you'll have to turn up the brightness. Turn down, the threshold's already at zero. Crank this thing up. And expand borders never does anything. It never worked for me. Uh, turn up the width, it, then you lose all your detail. You turn down the width, uh, you get a decent glow, but you have no big glow. So you basically have to stack this up. You're going to have to put that one there, grab another one, and then increase the width size on this one, turn down the brightness. And you basically have to do this, like, I don't know, probably six times until you get something respectable. And you're never going to end up with anything that looks great. It's always going to look fake. It's going to look cheesy. Uh, so we've written a tool that is going to give you a perfect glow. All you need to do is drop it on. So AFX Glow, put it on, and you're going to wonder, why isn't there anything there? Just turn down the threshold, and that's just the glow output. All our tools give you the glow output. And that's so you can add grain on top of it and process it further before putting it back on your footage. So just drop it on as a merge. There you go. Crank up the, the intensity. We can go really high to 10. Turn up the outer size. And it still doesn't look good. That's because it's set to linear mode and we're working in 2.2. So just change that to 2.2. Boom, there you go. Instant perfection. Here's the outer size controls your, your large glow. The inner size controls your smallest glow. Now, the, the finer you go with that, the sharper the inner glow is going to be. The default settings uh, are, are really quite good. I usually just turn up the outer size a little bit. If you start getting too big with that, you just need to turn the quality down to speed up processing. Diffusion uh, essentially controls the fall off of the glow from the small to large glow. It simulates a dense atmosphere. So when you have it low, there's not much atmosphere for the light to react with. When you crank it up, it makes it look foggier and there's more atmosphere. I, I usually leave that around 0.5. So let's, let's do this right now. First thing we're gonna do, take this and add a change depth, put it in 32 float. It probably already is because I rendered an EXR, but it never hurts to do that. Then we're gonna put a gamma node on here. Set that to 0.454, which makes it linear. Then click the LUT, or the LUT as some people like to call it. Turn up the color gamma to 2.2, and now you're back in linear for your output. We're gonna do all our processing, sorry, back to 2.2, and we're gonna do all of our processing in linear. So now we drop on an AFX glow. Merge it back on, turn down the threshold, crank up the intensity, and there you've got a glow. So instead of using the straight render, let's break it up into parts. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll just make a background. And we'll just make it at 1280, because that's what I did the render at. And then we will, over here to format, and import these extra render channels. So we'll import the stream export. We'll make a bitmap mask. And now we can choose our stream color. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna analyze what the streams look like from Ghostbusters, so. Here's a picture of a stream. You've got kind of a yellow core, then it goes to a red. Here's another one. Same idea. Now I saw this on the internet. Somebody actually took a glow stick and just set their camera to a long exposure and drew in a glow stick. And this is real light. And I really like this because you get a hot white core, it goes to yellow, and then there's an orangey red, and there's a lot of lens effects in it. And I like that. So we're gonna match this, and we're gonna add in the lightning just like the originals. So let's, uh, let's take that uh, background and we'll just pick, we'll just pick this yellowy color here. And then we'll just turn up the value. 
so it gets hotter. Then we'll add our glow on that. Now to get the middle to be white, uh, what we can do is we can either play with the color here. We could try turning down the saturation. Maybe need that a little bit more red. And we can just play with that. What I prefer to do is leave it as is, because then you get that nice, intense uh, saturation in the red. And what we'll do is we'll just add another bitmap mask, and we will plug in the, uh, the stream mask, and we'll just use this to clip what we want. So we could take, or, or we could use a, uh, a range mask, then we can get a little bit smoother this way. And we could say, let's take the highlights. Then we can adjust what we're going to consider to be highlights. Then we can take that mask and use it as a color corrector. Let's put that in there. Then we'll just pull down the saturation. See, and now we're getting that hot white center, but we're keeping the reds. And that's, that's a good look. You see? So we'll just pull that down a little bit. Now we can go in here and we can... You can tweak that to your liking. We'll stick with that for now. Now let's work on the, uh, the plasma. So just copy that. Back over to the format and just change this to plasma export. Copy the bitmap, plug it in. So now we've got our plasma bitmap. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So let's just copy this whole network. And instead of going with uh, an orange, we're going to go with a blue. So let's take a look what they have here. So we'll take the color picker and just grab that blue. And I think I might want it a little bit more saturated. Turn that up. And now we merge that on here. Now we're going to need this to be more intense, so turn up the value. That's starting to look nice. That's pretty nice. Now I want more glow on that. So let's see what we can do here. That's pretty nice. Now they've still got a little bit more glow than we have, so we could just stack a glow right on top of the whole thing if we wanted to, or we could keep working piece by piece. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's say we're happy with the, uh, the color of the stream at this point. We'll just take another glow, pull it over here from the original source, and just drop it on top. Turn down the threshold. And then we can play with this. Let's say we just want this one to be a bigger glow. So you could turn that up. We could tint it red if we want. Add some more of those reds in. This is how we can get some of that more red saturation in there. So let's compare it to some of these other ones. 
So that's looking really nice. Now let's do the bursts. So again, copy the whole network. And go to format. Change it to burst export. There's the bursts. Now all we need to do is change the color. I'll just pick a hot yellow. Merge that on top. Uh, let's just modify this color a little bit. It's probably a little bit too yellow. There we go. Now if you crank up that glow, it's going to start looking a lot like the little burst from Ghostbusters 2. Okay, so here's where we're at. I was looking really good. You can see the burst going down pretty nice. The lightning looks good. The glows look good. Color-wise, it looks nice. The luminance is good. I think we've we've got the yellows, the whites, and the reds of this. Uh, we've got the got the nice blue lightning from the from Ghostbusters one. Uh, the only thing I think we could do a little better is make it look a little more realistic. Because right now it still looks a lot like Ghostbusters one, which looks like it was rotoscoped. I, I like it, but I'm really a fan of this. You can see these lens effects. It's very streaky. It's some kind of refraction. So let's use the AFX Lens Glow to add that in. So drop down an AFX Lens Glow node. And let's pull in the Stream Core as the original source. And we'll just merge it on. Now, you'll see the lens glow, what it does well is it creates, oops, wrong parameter, it creates streaks. So you can see how it's, it's adding in those refractions, those internal lens refractions, and it looks very similar to what you see there. Of course, I don't see much chromatic aberration, so let's turn that off. Uh, you can see I, I have a chromatic aberration feature on the AFX glow. Let's just turn that off by setting these all to one. Let's add another AFX lens glow and pull it off from the original source again. Merge it on top. Now with this one, I want to make it bigger. I want to capture some of those soft streaks. So let's turn up the size until we get those large soft streaks. And now we'll just turn up the softness to soften them out. There we go. Now we've got a very realistic looking light. Now I'm happy with the the brightness of mine. It looks more like the originals, but this one is pretty bright. Uh, just to see what it looks like, we could just turn up the brightness. Easiest way to do that without affecting our color is before the first glow, let's just append a color corrector and turn up the gain. That's pretty nice, actually. Let's see what that looks like with the lightning. See, now the lightning looks a little too dark. We have to turn that up. Yeah, I like it bright. Then we could take down that saturation some more. Wanted to bring out some more whites. And we can do the same thing to turn up the lightning just add a color corrector there turn it up here we go and then check the bursts might need to turn those up as well you can do the same thing this is just much easier than trying to tweak the color just turn up the gain see and you can turn up the saturation you could turn down the saturation add some reds it's just really easy to tweak each element individually this way. So now, um, let's just add one final lens glow on the whole thing. Just pull it right off of the final composite. Merge it back on. And we can color that red.
it's pretty nice and now uh, there's some huge glows in there we could do that easily uh, simply by adding a blur and be much faster this way as well just take a blur blur the thing very large just merge it back on and now you have a gigantic glow now it, it looks pretty weird that's because uh this should be done in 2.2 it's just glows look better that way which is why all our glow tools have that option so just turn that up to 2.2 now you see all of a sudden you get all these nice colors then all you have to do is put it back to linear there you go. Now here's the difference. We'll pass through both of those. Glow in linear, glow in 2.2. Looks so much better. So any convolution for a glow purpose should be done in 2.2 space. It really has nothing to do with the color space. It just brings out the colors better. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. I just tweaked some of the settings to uh, save time. And I put the stream that I liked that was done with the glow stick on the left. And the Ghostbusters 1 stream on the right here, as so you can see the two. I'm sort of blending the best of both. And here we go. I think it looks fantastic. So go download our Houdini OTL. Catch some ghosts, make some streams. Get the AFX Glow plugin. Get the AFX LensGo plugin. And make some streams. And if you have any ideas on how to improve on it, I'd love to see it posted on our blog. Thanks very much. Bye.